From our download page, you can download for Mac or PC. Once you have downloaded the end creator, um, you will see this page here. So you can actually open already made creations or you can make a new creation. So we're just going to show how to make a new creation for a basic photo book. So you click on new and then you can enter in the album name. So we're just going to put test one, two, three for this. And then you click on the arrow pointing to the right. And at the next step, you then choose the album. Now for the basic, the three are here. So you've got the square one, which is the eight pound 50. You've got the A4 landscape, which is seven pounds. And you've got the A4 portrait, which is six pounds. So we'll click on this and you leave everything as shown on the page there. You then choose your photographs. So for this, we're just going to add some photographs. And these photographs will be from a shoot with Ellie. So we're just going to highlight them pictures there. And then what we'll do, once the pictures are there to be imported into the album, we will click the right arrow. If you want to go back to stage two, you just click the back arrow. Then we can make a choice of the type of template we wish to have. Now you can start with the album templates. There are loads and loads of templates available. Uh, you don't have to have the pattern background. You can choose different backgrounds and they also have different formats for the photographs as well. So what we'll do is we'll show the 28 pages, but we'll select not to autofill the pages as well. So we'll just select no to that, which means we have to drag and drop the pictures. If we autofill, it will automatically put the photographs into the album. That does save time but it also um, means that we can actually put the full photographs in and we can also select show whole pictures. So we'll show whole pictures on the photographs as well. We're now gonna click the arrow and we can choose the background. Now we can have a pattern background that's shown here or we can uh, change it so you can see there's different uh, backgrounds, there's loads and loads of different backgrounds that are available. But for this, I'm just gonna go into a solid color and I'm just gonna select white. Now the pictures are currently being imported and they'll be shown in this panel here. And all the 28 pages will be shown in this panel here. Okay, so we've now got our cover and then along the bottom we have the different pages. Now it shows different styles of pages throughout that whole set and you have up to 28 pages. Notice that the page at the back is just one single page. It does have a grayed area. This is the hard part of the photo album, which is the basic. Now some albums will have a double page spread so you can take that over onto that page there. But for this particular item, uh, you're gonna be unable to actually place a photograph onto the inside of the hard cover. So we're now just gonna add some text and you do that by double clicking. And we're just gonna call that a photo shoot with Ellie. We'll highlight that and we'll just make that a little bit bigger, say point size 36. And we'll center that and we'll just put with Ellie on the second line. And then we'll click okay. And it shows that information there. What we need to do is just drag that anchor point down
to show the words. If you click on these anchor points, it will rotate the text. And as normal, if you make a mistake, you can always click Ctrl Z for an undo or on an Apple Mac Command Z. And then you'll see we can also add some text down the spine. So we're going to do that now. So we'll double click on that spine where it says enter text here. And we'll enter photo shoot with Ellie. And we'll have that at point size 12. And there we have the text along the spine. Okay, we're going to now add a photograph. And we're going to choose this photograph here. And we're going to place that just there, like so. And what we can do is we can actually change that by right clicking. And we can click on image size we can click on set as background across the double page and then we'll just remove that photograph there what we can do is we can now move that picture so Ellie's head is on the front cover instead of the back cover so we do that by clicking flip and we will flip that horizontally. So it shows Ellie now in that photograph there. And we'll notice that the text here is probably in the wrong place. So we'll just put that here now. But what we want to do is double click on that text because it's crossing against the black. And we can now change that to a different color and we're just going to choose white and we'll also possibly change the font as well to a more to an alternative maybe this one here so we now have the word photo shoot as you can see we've got a, a red flag which is warning us to say that the other information is not there so we can just click on the anchor point and just drag that down so we've got photo shoot with Ellie and we can place that anywhere we like. You will notice that we have a hash line and that there is our safe crop area. So we may just want to put that text just here. Okay, now we have that front page. You will notice that that particular photograph has a number one next to it. If we add a second photograph in of the same picture, it will add a two for example if we click on the new page and we just drag ellie into here it will show ellie there but it will also have a number two shown because oh, we've used that picture now twice so we're going to change that picture and we're just going to use this one and you just drag and drop it over i'm going to right click on the image and I'm going to click on original image. And then from there, we can then show the picture in full frame. So it shows Ellie there in the full picture. But what we can do in that instance is set that image to a background and it'll make it the full size. So there's Ellie there. And we can take that picture out there. And we now have Ellie on that whole picture. On here, we can just take these photographs out. So we have a blank page. And we can then just submit the photographs into the pages we want. You'll notice that it just comes in small. We can right click on the picture and we can center it to the page horizontally. And we can also center it to the page vertically. And we can also click on the image and crop image to frame. And we just simply drag and drop that picture 
to the size of the photograph. Alternatively, what we can do is just delete that and we can, a simpler way is just to click on the picture, right click, and then we can set that to the background on the left, just like that. And we can take that photograph from there and out. And there's Ellie shown on that background page. You can also put onto the next page, right click, set as background, And there we have Ellie on both pages. And then we go to the next page. So we'll go to this page and we'll do exactly the same. And we click on the next photograph. And we can then image size set to background, left page, take that out. And then we'll take another photograph, which we can show of Ellie. And we'll use this one, put it there, right click, and then image size set to background. So as you can see, we will just finish this set of pictures. So there we have a full set of images of Ellie in an album. Now that we have that complete, we can also add text onto any pages as we require. But for this instance, the portfolio set of images for Ellie is as shown. Once we've done that, we can then save our creation so we just click save and it saves the album test one, two, three. And then we can click order. You can then check everything and we can see that although some of the information is shown outside of the box, we're quite happy to proceed, but please pay attention to covers, text boxes, etc., so that they stay in the safe area. So we now have a, a, a similar process to what we saw at the beginning. So this is the order process. We click on the arrow and we can see a preview of the set of images. Once we're happy, we can click the arrow again. You can choose how many copies you want. And we can put a little comment on here. If we want to, and we'll just put test album and we click on the arrow point to the right again you then put your information in and just click on the arrow and then you will upload the information to the internet and we now log in once you've logged in click on the arrow and it will then process the images. And there we have your order with the different pages. You can choose to then print that or then click on the right arrow and that order is then complete.